Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, my name is B, and I'm so happy that you guys decided to come today, watch my video. I hope that my channel just provides a little bit of a distraction from everything that's been going on in the world, and I hope that wherever you are, you guys are safe and happy and practicing social distancing habits just so that we can get through this huge coronavirus thing together. Anyways, we are just gonna be trying out, not trying out, we're just gonna be doing a bunch of makeup. This is all affordable makeup, so if you guys wanna just get ready with me, then please grab your makeup and let's just get started. Okay, so I um, already did my eyebrows. I used the LA Girl Shady Slim Brow Pencil and then I set it with the NYX Control Free. The only two products that are not drugstore is what I prime my eyelids with, which is the MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot. I'm already gonna go ahead and say that um, the face primer I'm gonna use today is the Tarte Smoothing Primer. I don't have any favorite drugstore options for those two categories, so that's just, those are the only two items. So we are going to use the Going Coconuts palette today. We're not gonna go too crazy, but I just wanted to throw some makeup on, make it affordable. I know I've been kind of featuring a lot of higher end makeup um, lately on my channel. So I just wanted to dip into something a little bit more affordable. I do have the Nude Crush collection coming. Um, that's gonna be with ColourPop as well. That's gonna be the Nude Mood Palette collection and the Blush Crush collection. And I should be getting that soon and I'll do a um, I'll do a video on those two collections. I haven't decided if I'm gonna do two separate ones or if I'm just gonna do one big video. Obviously, subscribe to my channel and that way you'll know when I upload that video. I am just going into the shade Lovely Bl Lovely Bunch. It's this one right here. Woo, it's been a while since I filmed, so bear with me. And I'm just using a Morphe E27 brush. It's just a big fluffy brush, so Anything that you have, I'm just keeping it pretty neutral today, not going anywhere. It is already two, three o'clock in the afternoon where I am while I'm doing my makeup, so nothing that I need to really get ready for because the day's already gone, you know. So what has everybody been up to since this whole thing has happened. I know I posted my last video and that was before, I filmed it way, way before the coronavirus thing happened. I, I wanna say I filmed that probably back in like early February, but I just never got around to editing that video and posting it. So I finally did and I had to put a little disclaimer in there, but I have been home from work since the baby and I mean this self quarantine is nothing new for me I've just kind of been hanging out with the baby I mean you know overprotective mom don't want to take him out don't want to expose him to too many things I mean I've taken him to a couple of things with me but never to like the grocery store or anything like that I mean I did take him to the Target drive up, but you know, he didn't leave the car. And yeah, I haven't really taken him anywhere where I, you know, I've exposed him to like large groups of people just because he is only, he's just a little over two months. So he's about 10 weeks right now. So he just got his shots. So. If I did take him out, it was only to like my family member's house and um, you know, we I kind of kept a close eye on him and I made sure my family members were like washing their hands and they weren't kissing him and so you know, it's just family that he's been around, not really like strangers or anything like that. So yeah, I've been in self-quarantine. Um, so being isolated at home is nothing new for me. I mean, you know, you start to get a little stir crazy, so you, you get a little creative, like what's today? Today is the 19th while I'm filming this. So yesterday um, 
Wednesday the 18th, uh, my husband and I decided we wanted to take the dogs for a there's a dog right here. If I say it, he'll get really excited. We decided to take them out and um, every single, like the park that we wanted to go to, they are renovating it. So that was completely closed off. And usually that park is pretty secluded because it's in a neighborhood. My husband likes to call it the neighborhood of the walking dead <laughs> because it was a full neighborhood, but because of Hurricane Harvey, um, they had to bulldoze a lot of the homes there. So I think they're turning it into, instead of just leaving the neighborhood a big empty space, they're turning it into a park, which is really great because it's like really covered in trees and everything. So it's really pretty. Um, but yeah, so they're renovating that and that's where we originally wanted to go, you know, just to be a little bit more secluded away from people, but that was closed. And then the park that we normally go to um, that has a running path and it has like a pond and everything, that park was packed. I mean, literally every single parking space was filled. And I'm, there's probably about, I wanna say 75 to 100 parking spaces and people were even parking on like the grass, the grassy areas. Um, that's how packed it was. So then we went to a different park. Um, it's not really a park, but it's more like a bike trail. It has a paved bike trail, and then it has like a um, like a like a trail trail that you can go um, in the woods with. And so that's where we ended up going. It was a lot bigger open area, so that's why we decided to go to that one. Um, and we didn't really, I mean, we ran into a couple of people like while we were walking, but you know, it's, it was out in the open. It wasn't congested with people or anything like that. So it was perfect for us. The next shade I am going to go into is the shade Nutty. It's the deep one. I'm just going to deepen up the outer corner. A little scary, I will say, just because I don't have to, I have to worry about more than just myself. I have to worry about my newborn. Um, so if it wasn't for the fact that I had a newborn, I would probably just be like coasting. And honestly, if I didn't have a newborn, I'd probably be at the office. Um, because my office is actually still up and running and nobody is working from home at this time, from what I understand. So there's that. But yeah, I mean, all you can do is... Practice good hygiene, you know, make smart decisions about where you're going. I did see that there's a lot of people in Florida still on spring break and the mayor of Florida was like, dude, this is not spring break anymore. Y'all need to go home. And every, all the college kids are like, no, we're going to live my best life. And I just think that's the complete opposite of what of how you should be taking this um, this whole thing. It's like you shouldn't take it lightly just because it doesn't directly impact you, but it does because you're contributing to this epidemic that's not going to get better unless everybody is doing the same thing. If everybody is contributing the same way by staying at home, by not going out to public gatherings. I mean, at what point is it going to be okay, well, you have the choice to do it and then you don't have the choice and then people are going to be really upset that they're forced to do something instead of giving the opportunity not to do something. You know what I mean? So that's, I, I think it's just so crazy. I think it's so, I, I'm just at a loss of words. I think it's so irresponsible for people to have that mentality of just, well, I'm not sick, so I'm not gonna stay at home. That's really dumb, in my opinion. And let's just take this time to reiterate the fact that just be kind to everybody. You never know what anybody is going through, but to like just start isolating a group of people because this is where the virus started coming from, like just me being Asian myself, like that I haven't witnessed something like, you know, I guess I haven't witnessed being, you know, 
targeted for this whole thing because I I don't go anywhere. I mean, I went to Walgreens the other day and granted the little the little old lady who was the cash register at the time, you know, she was wearing gloves and stuff like that and I sneezed twice at the register while I was checking out, but I have allergies. I mean, it's spring in Texas. I have like literally pine trees and oak trees. Like I'm looking out my window and I can see like 10 pine tree or oak trees that just literally shade my house that have pollen everywhere. So it's allergy season. And so I, I get where she was coming from. She told me, she's like, can you just grab your bag? And she didn't mean it like in a mean way, but I totally understand where she's coming from. So I didn't take that offensively, but you know, just don't be rude to people about this whole thing. Like, I don't know where I'm going with this. I'm just rambling at this point. Just be kind to one another during this difficult time. You don't know what anybody is going through, so you don't want to just assume that everything is fine. I'm gonna go into the shade Shredded, this one right here, and I'm just gonna put that on my brow bone. Okay, I do need to get some glitter glue out, so. And I am. Um, of course, we're gonna go into Cocoa Crush, the one right in the middle, and I'm just gonna pick that up with my finger, and I'm going to just. This looks really, really similar to the Tati Beauty look that I just did. I mean, so identical. Wow. I'm so unique. So yeah, I don't know, maybe um, I can talk the husband into going for another walk since daylight savings ended and so now it doesn't get dark until about eight o'clock here which is great because I actually love that it makes me feel like there's more time to do stuff which is also why I think the parks were really packed because we left at like six ish and I mean, there was no sign of people leaving at all. Um, I'm going to go back into that lovely brunch, lovely bunch shade with my shader brush. And I'm just going to blend out the edges here. And I do have fallout on my face. So just keep that in mind. That's why I always do my um, eyeshadow first because I don't. I don't know what I'm going to do with my eyes and then I have to if I have fallout, like this has a lot of glitter fallout everywhere and then I have to like just redo the whole thing. Um, I'm gonna pick up a tapered brush. I kind of wanna add a little bit of warmth to this eye look, so I am gonna go into the shade Shell Yeah. It's this one right here. It's a little bit, it's a red tone brown and I'm gonna add that to the crease just so that it can, I can warm it up a bit. So I did add that Shell Yeah shade in there just to warm it up a bit and it I think it did. I think it did warm it up, which I really like. It kind of gave it a nice gradient. Okay, I am going to add some lashes and liner. The lashes I'm going to use are these Kiss lashes in the Style Veil and then I'm gonna use some ColourPop to do my wing liner. I'm gonna clean up everything. I'm gonna go ahead and prime my face with the Tarte Primer since that's not affordable drugstore stuff, and then we'll get back to doing the rest of the makeup together. Okay, so I love the lashes. I love these. I, it's the Naked Drama Collection. The band is really thin. I wish I would have clipped them a little bit. I left them the full length, and I typically don't like that because I don't like them too close to the inner corner or too close to the outer corner, and it's from edge to edge, and it's, it's touching. Um, so let's see if I can make it through this video without my eyes just dying because they kind of feel like they are now. 
And it also doesn't help that they're really itchy because of my allergies. So I wish I would have cut them, but I didn't. So anyway, that's that. My face is already primed. And we are actually gonna use a new foundation today. I'm not going to do a try before you buy on this, but um, it, it, it's new and I did pick it up. It's the Maybelline Dream Radiant Liquid Foundation. It's the hydrating one with hyaluronic acid and collagen and I got the shade 75 Natural Beige. It is probably a little bit darker than my neck, but also the undertone is probably a little bit too pink because that's just how Maybelline foundations are on me, but Natural Beige is my shade or so that's the shade that I always pick um, so I am gonna try this one out I have not used it I will leave I'll leave something in the description box down below to let you know how I liked it how it wore and all of that stuff if you guys want a full try before you buy on it please just let me know in the comment section down below and there is this so I am actually going to blend it out with my blendiful I'm going to, I've been trying to avoid dispensing it on my hand, but we'll see. I have this dish right here. Um, I'm gonna dispense it on this dish. So this is two pumps right here. It's not moving at all. Um, so I'm going to use a concealer brush. This is just the ColourPop concealer brush and I'm just gonna use it to, um, just to kinda add it to my face or apply it to my face. I really don't know what to expect from this. The only foundation really that I've tried from Maybelline is the Fit Me foundation and I actually really love that foundation. I just have not used it in a while because I have so many other foundations that I like. Um, especially ones from the drugstore. So yeah, this is the f probably the second Maybelline foundation that I've tried. So we're gonna be very optimistic about it. Um, I didn't even use that much, so there's probably about a pump and a half left. So I am just going to get my blendable and just start blending this out. So right off the bat, the shade doesn't look too bad. I don't think I put a lot on and I think it's just kind of blending away, honestly. Let me get a little bit closer. Yeah, so it kind of just blended right into my skin. So I'm definitely going to need to add more. The shade matches my forehead really well. Okay, so it's really not sticking to my nose and I don't, I don't know why. Once I applied it with the Blendiful directly onto my nose, it looks fine. Okay, so I've used pretty much all of the two pumps and I don't think I don't think I would use any more than that honestly so I kind of like the coverage of where it's at right now my nose just looks pretty average like I said it wasn't sticking to my nose very well my chin is a little bit drier it doesn't look too terribly bad right now it doesn't look like it's cracking or anything like that so that's good my cheeks right here look really nice actually and my forehead just looks like it always does so that's not too too terribly bad there is just a little bit left on this dish so i'm just going to go ahead and wipe it up and just apply it onto my face so that i'm not wasting any product here so um do i think it's hydrating i don't know um I can't really tell. It's not very dewy, I can tell you that, but I do feel the makeup on my skin. That is for sure. So I'm just inspecting it a lot closer. It's sitting on my skin, but it doesn't look terrible. I'll say that. It doesn't look bad. 
Okay, so I am gonna use a little bit of a peach corrector under my eyes and right here on my upper lip because I kind of need it. So I'm just gonna use a little bit. I need to dispense it. I am using the Maybelline Master Cameo, the apricot. And I'm just going to dispense that on the back of my hand like this. And I'm just going to blend it out, warm it up a little bit. And I'm gonna apply it with my fingers. Just very, very lightly under my eyes. same thing I'm just gonna apply a very light amount on my upper lip right here and I am going to use the NYX Born to Glow concealers um, I'm gonna use the shade beige under my eyes to because this is my skin tone shade so I'm just gonna add this under my eyes And I'm just gonna blend this out. The shade is super yellow, but that's okay. We are going to make it work. Make sure you cover up all of the corrector. All right, and then I'm going to use the shade Soft Beige to highlight. And I'm just going to add a little bit because um, this concealer tends to look a little bit heavy when you apply too much of it. Just to balance it out, and I'm just going to add a little bit right here. And I'm going to use a different edge of the Beauty Blender, I mean of the Blendable. So, I think that finally balanced everything out. What do you think? What do you guys think? I think it looks really yellow right here. But that's because of, that's because of the concealer. I don't know, we'll see when I actually have to edit this hot mess. But so far, I think the complexion looks good. It is a little bit heavy. Again, I can feel everything on my face. But I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing. I have two powders to set with. Under my eyes, I'm gonna set with the RCMA No Color Powder. This was used to be a staple back in the day, the day day. Um, but I'm gonna use that for under my eyes because it's no color and this is all I have left. I didn't like the original packaging that it came in so I bought a little travel size jar and I just transferred what I had into it. So I went ahead and I blended out everything and I'm just going to lightly set under my eyes. Pretty much wherever I highlighted, I want to set with this powder because or the other powder I'm gonna use is a, uh, is a colored powder. So I don't want to take away from the brightness that we just added. And for the rest of my face, I'm gonna use the Fit Me, Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder in the shade 20 Light Medium. It is a very, neutral colored powder and I'm just going to use this all over my face. I'm just going to pick it up on a big brush, swirl, tap, and set the rest of my face. And because I feel very heavy, like heavy, heavy, I'm going to spritz my face with some setting mist. And I'm going to use the coconut primer one and I'm just gonna do a quick spritz just to kind of like melt everything together and then we'll go ahead and layer the rest of the powder. So let me just go ahead and quickly spritz my face. I don't like my whole body getting wet, so. Okay, so for bronzer, we are going to use this Wet n Wild Color Icon Bronzer in the shade Sunset Striptease. 
This is what it looks like. It's a little warm, but not too warm, so I like that. I'm just going to stipple it on first before I blend it in. So what are some good TV shows that you guys are watching? I feel like everybody always asks this question, um, but you know, you've had some time to be at home. Is there some TV shows that you are binge watching? I actually got into watching the Magicians not too long ago, and I really, really enjoyed watching it. I know the fifth season is the last season, and I have not had a chance to watch that one because it's not on Netflix yet. It is on Hulu, and of course, um, it's still airing on live TV. I think April 1st or something like that is the, whatever the first Thursday of April is, April 3rd or something like that, it's the last um, episode because it's the season finale. Yeah, I really got into it. I Has anybody else seen it before I you know, go on a whole tangent about it? Um, not to give it away, but my favorite season is season three, and my favorite episode is episode, I think it's five. But anyway, it's the one with um, the two characters, Elliot and Quentin. I really like it. I liked it a lot. The first season kind of scared me because I, I thought it was going to be like this scary TV show. And so I was watching it and I like, like I said, I thought it was a scary TV show. And so I was like, oh, I, I'm not going to be able to watch this by myself. Um, but the first one is very, you know, they, they, they made it very, like, very much a thriller, which you know, it's really cool because it's about magicians. Um, you know, like people having powers and being called magicians. So I, I liked it. Season one was really crazy. And then season two was a little bit traumatizing, I guess you could say. And then season three was like, you're on this adventure. And then season four, you're on this adventure. And so I, I really liked it. I liked it a lot. And my favorite part about it is that as the season progresses, they actually have a couple of episodes where they're doing like choreographed singing and stuff, which if you guys know me or if you don't know me, I really like choreographed like dancing and singing. But yeah, I, I really, I thoroughly enjoyed The Magicians a lot. Like another TV show that I really like on Netflix is Altered Carbon. They just released season two, so my husband and I haven't had a chance to start watching that yet, but that's out and I really wanna watch that. Um, I'm gonna use this Milani blush in Blossom Rose. It's like this really pretty pinky rose, but it has like, or peachy rose color, but it has like this gold sheen to it and it does translate on the skin. So it kinda has like, it's like a blush with like a sheen to it. So just keep that in mind. if you like blushes like this. I didn't expect it to be have like all this like gloss to it, but it does. And I thought I wasn't going to like it, but I actually, I, I really do like it a lot. So just kind of keep that in mind. And um, I, again, I like to focus it right here. And then I will kind of pull it back a little bit just because it has some satinness to it. Oh yeah, so TV shows. I, I'm really into sci-fi TV shows. <laughs> uh, I guess you could say I really like futuristic TV shows a lot. I mean, that's the ones that we watch. I know, I mean, look at that. It's very glossy. I actually went on a very long tangent about TV shows and my camera stopped recording. So in this clip, I am just adding Shell Ya yeah to my lower lash line. Okay, and then for my inner corner, I'm going to use Palm Reader. It's this white shade right here, and I'm going to use that as my inner corner highlight. All right. I'm going to buff everything together. Okay, and for lips, I am going to use, it's two color pops, 
Um, I'm gonna use the shade Obvi in the lip liner, and then I'm gonna use the ColourPop Ultra Satin Lip in Echo Park. And let me just do a quick little spritz again. Alright guys, well this is the finished makeup look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for sticking around with me today. I hope you guys are out there being safe. I hope you guys are being well or are well. I hope you guys are well. Um, let me know in the comment section down below what you guys want to see from me next. Let me know what TV shows you're watching, what books you're reading, what you guys are doing during this crazy social distancing time. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.